I talked to him the day of his press conference, and what he said to me privately was consistent with the nearly two hours he spent talking to the media in New Jersey and obviously a lot of national media there. And, and so I have a reason to believe that what he said publicly and what he told me is accurate. And assuming that's the case, which I have a reason to believe, um, I'm still confident he can continue to be the governor there and be one of the leading Republicans in the country. Um, but I often say, Democrat and Republican governors alike, the, the measure of leadership is not just whether or not you run into troubles, the measure is what you do with it. And he took swift action. Uh, to the point of obviously letting a number of people around him who were responsible for that go. And I think that's the kind of accountability that people want out of leaders. You know, probably the biggest challenge for Chris isn't so much the controversy. His bigger challenge is going to be he's got a legislature controlled by the other party. He came off the election with really big momentum because of, of, of the size of his victory. And uh, now that's, you know, that, that's, the legislature is able to counter that a little bit and that'll affect his ability to govern. And so the bigger, I think, long-term story is, can he work with members of his Senate and his General Assembly to get things done that will continue to show him as a reform-minded governor?